YouTube, what up, what up, it's your boy Stig, so it's been a minute since I had a vid, I'm just doing a quick little vid pickup, um, basically ended up getting these bad boys, and I got these bad boys, um, so yeah, uh, so my last pickup before these were these, uh, I'm on Meniere 3's, I put some Foxtrot laces on them suckers, I think these are the cream, um, these are like the longer ones. I think the 170 centimeter cream laces. Um, they complement this shoe really well compared to the OG and the the extra laces that came with it. Um, but yeah, just shining some light on the plum dunks. So I ended up getting these dunks at the store consignment shop in Manhattan um, last week. And I got them for a great price. They were used, no box. Um, and I paid about 200 bucks. So I got a great deal on these. These brand new are going anywhere between four to five brand new. I got these used. And you do find them used, but uh, you don't find them lower than 350 Usually people are taxing on these. Um, definitely a dope colorway. I got the plums. So I guess you could say in a way I'm almost, I guess you could say I'm near completion for this set. Um, but yeah, these, when I got them, the midsoles were super dirty. I think I have rocked them once since I cleaned it. They're pretty much pure white at this point. Um, I put some mink oil. Uh, I brushed the suede. I didn't have an eraser. There really isn't much stains actually on the shoe. There might be, see like this little stain there. I'm sure an eraser could take that out. Um, but yeah, this shoe, however, had some kind of mark and you can kind of see it is a faint mark. And the thing is, it's like, it doesn't come off. So I don't know if that's just like um, like texture damage. I think it is. So no matter what I do, but maybe I'm going to take an eraser. I got to get an eraser, a sneaker eraser, suede sneaker eraser. And just pretty much go over some spots and see if it takes off, you know, that. But yeah, these came uh, for $200. Uh, structurally, they're pretty good shape. I actually kind of, um, I put these shoe trees in. These expandable ones. I cleaned the insoles. The insoles were like very linty. Um, then there was also fuzz. Little fuzz balls on the back of the tongue. Which are not there no more. I used a fabric lint shaver for that. Yeah, you can see the dust. Hold on. Focus. But yeah. Um, plum dunks. And basically that completes that collection. Sorry for the blurriness, guys. Um, yeah, I just want to show you the dust. <laughs> the dust. I got to clean these shells. I breathe in this dust. See, look. Yeah, it's not good. But yeah, I got the plums, the veneers. I think I got these off of a reseller when they first dropped. I paid 200 at the time. You can see I wear them. Um, these, yeah, I paid two bills for these, brand new, right when they uh, dropped, a little after they dropped. Um, and then I got these for retail at, uh, what was that store? It's in Manhattan. Uh, sneakers and stuff. I won a raffle for these. This, I think, was the first one that I got at the pack. Then these. And then these. And then, I guess, I don't know if you want to include this part of the pack. The Curry Dunk Lows. Medium Curry Dunk Lows. I've worn these a ton. Um, yeah, you can see. There's wear, but they're still in good shape, though. You know? A favorite shoe of mine. I love this shoe. This shoe is shoe's so dope. And then... Um, I don't know if this is part of the pack, but these are the Dusty Olives. I guess they fall within the category. Um, the only one I'm missing that I'm not really too crazy about, and I don't really see myself wearing, are the Viotech Dunks. If I can get them at a, a size 11 and a half, then, you know, at a reasonable price, then I'll probably do it. But I don't really see myself wearing that shoe. So, yeah, those are my Dunks. Or at least for that pack. And then on top of it, I ended up getting this. Uh, you guys correct me if I'm wrong. But I believe this is a Kentucky colorway. I got this off of eBay for like a buck and change. Good deal. This is a 2011 pair. It's not the 2016 that I've been focusing on. Because uh, I'm trying to collect all of them for that year. If possible. So the seller had these as the Duke. And I don't think they made a dunk off of a Duke colorway i think this is like the, i believe this is a kentucky it's different and i had this shoe for comparison purposes this is the villanova dunk the 2016 and then here is the 
Kentucky. He had it as Duke. I saw it as Kentucky. Um, I got these for a good price. Now the only thing is, 2011. I wasn't, I wasn't too sure on the quality of the shoe of the leather. So for you guys that are buying dunks from that year, just be aware the leather is not terrible. Uh, you do find that plasticky stiff leather on the toe box, kind of, sort of. Um, this shoe is pretty broken in. Um, it's it's basically in the toe box and on the mid panel, especially on the back. See, this is an eBay purchase. You can see a little eBay tag. I'm going to take that joint off. I haven't even rocked these. These are used. I got them for like a buck 20. Yeah, a buck 20 ship. No, with shipping. And um, they came with these laces. I don't think they're the OG laces. I would like to get some Foxtrot uniform laces. I may age the soles on these. Only qualm that i have is the material is not as plush or buttery as like these you know the 2016 um lineup you know like that leather like this like this leather is so plush like so i may see look at that see that uh beautiful so i may i don't know i mean i may just settle for these because this pretty much falls in line with the kentucky i think it may be a little bit brighter it's brighter than this color, but guys, tell me if I'm wrong. Um, I'm I, another way I can do is just look up, I guess, the UPC code, and I guess it will tell me what kind of shoe it is, and then I can kind of. But whatever. Listen, I'm gonna take this as a runner-up for the Kentucky Dunk colorway. It's it's dope on feet, and one thing about this tongue, it's shorter than than the others. So from that year, so you can see how high this tongue rises, and in the tongue, this tongue kind of almost mimics like the current dunks now see the tongue is not too high so which is cool with me too but i did try these on feet i cleaned them in and out and um hold on a second here lace but yeah um leather is not the best it's uh, a flat smooth leather and you can see some creasing which is not too bad. And this type of shoe, like the type of leather on that toe box, you see, it just doesn't bounce. It's just, it kind of stays there. So the blue, however, is, it is plush. As you can see, you can see the wrinkling there. So I do like that. Um, and I guess I'll stick with this for the time being. If I see a 2016 Kentucky for a good price, I'm going to pick those up. But as you guys can see throughout my journey, I've been kind of collecting the 2016 Be True to Your School collection. And at this point, um, I, I need the UNLV High or the Ultramans in the 2016 version. I don't want to include this. This doesn't, this doesn't really count. Let me just throw this on the floor. And you can see from like these dunks, like the material is not the best. I mean, you know, I don't know, man. Uh, do I have these looking right up in here? No, the shoe tree's not even in all the way. That's probably why it's looking like that. Yeah. Um, let me take this one out. But yeah, the leather is just not the greatest quality. Um, and uh, yeah, that's just a complaint that I have. But um, yeah, so that's basically it, guys. Let me just leave that there as it is. Um, yeah, so just wanted to share my dunk pickup, dunk, uh, dunk plums. For all the dunk heads out there, I think I'm going to kind of stray back from the current releases. Um, I'm just I'm more specific into what I want. I'm waiting for these to come out, I think, in the summer. Uh, Fire Red, this is from 06. And I did a, I repainted the shoe. And as you, as you can see, this crack in there. I've worn them a ton. Um, I, I try to wear these as often because I don't want... Oh, you see, look, the bubble, the air bubble is kind of yellowing. And that, that could also mean like... Uh, the midsole not not holding up but right now the midsole is not bad but if i put extreme string pressure it, it may do something to this also i'm just gonna rock them until they expire but i did a, a tab swap on these you can see some paint chipping i did wear these um not a thousand percent aligned very hard to put on sometimes this is actually my one of my first tab swaps and um yeah so I'm waiting for these to come out, but I'm very picky. I don't know about you guys. I'm picky about what's coming out. In terms of dunks, the Supreme Dunks dropped today. I did try to go for the size 11 and a half uh, in the black and white, but yeah. But I did get a, I did pick up something. I got a, uh, the Polar Tech jacket, the olive green one. 
So when those come in, I'll do a little review, show you guys. I haven't seen any reviews yet on it, so yeah. But anyway, it's your boy, Steak Sauce. Enough of me rambling. I'm out of here. Peace.